Hi there, welcome back to STL TV Live. I'm Ivy Hartman and I have the pleasure of getting to visit with Teron Rome. He's the founder of the Fight for Sight Foundation, STL. And he's here to tell us more about the organization and why it's so important to you, why you founded it. You know, the name Teron Rome might ring a bell with a lot of people here in St. Louis. Talk about some of the things that you've been instrumental in starting here in St. Louis. Uh, well, at the college, uh, I was involved in a lot of different entertainment events at the time. Yeah. Um, I was one of the, I started a college comedy tour called a Powerhouse Comedy Showcase, where we toured over colleges, universities all across the country, over 25 universities. Yeah. Um, I was the executive director of the Missouri Sister to Sister Expo, where we put on an uh, event celebrating the heritage of African American women and their accomplishments. And, and we brought vendors from all across the country and a lot of uh, community people for the various events for three years. Also done the uh, First Friday, I was one of the co-founders of the First Friday networking function, which is still currently going yeah, on in St. Louis. Yeah, it is going strong. Yes. You know, something though that people may not know about you is, uh, or may not know now, even just by being with us for the first time, is that you have a vision impairment. Talk about how that, when that started and how that took over your life. <clears throat> well, um, so right after graduation, or well, I, I like the last semester of college, the vision started to uh, bother me. And when I went to my graduation, I could not read my name in print at the mm -hmm. commemoration, and, but I still had enough vision to keep moving until about two and a half months later, it deteriorated to the point where I couldn't drive on the last day of the college was the last day I drove my car on August 4th of 1992. At the same time, my mom, my grandmother, who was my mom, basically passed at that time, mm. right at the same in July, and then in August, it stopped, deteriorated to the point. What is the name of the disease that has been causing your vision impairment? Leber's optic atrophy. Okay, is it pretty common? No, it's not common, and that is the unfortunate part because it makes it harder for me to get the support that's needed because there are not a lot of people in the states that even have it. So it makes it more of a fight and a struggle for me to have to go overseas to have it really cured. Which Probably. is interesting. Let's talk about that. The Fight for Sight Foundation has been established so that it can help with a stem cell treatment, which will ultimately totally cor correct your vision. Is that right? Correct. So uh, what will that entail? What does that mean to you? What does that all entail to have the stem cell treatment done? What does it mean to me? Well, yeah, well, well we, we know you've got <laughs> it. Would make, yeah, what difference would it make in your life? Oh, it made the greatest difference in the world, having the opportunity to independently take over my life all the way again. Right. You know, there's been, I've learned how to survive, but the blessing of being able to get it back is a blessing that's unbelievable. I mean, it would mean the world to me. How did you find out about the stem cell treatment in China? Well, I was doing some research one day on a, on a computer with a young lady that was working for me, and I decided to go take a look again, and when I went onto the computer, I saw that all the comments were like, it was saying that my, my vision could be restored through them generating these stem cells into my eye, in between my brain and my eye. Mm -hmm. And it was someone that had a similar eye disease of, as, as my own, which is like star God, which is also a generic disease because okay. this is it's generic disease, okay. genetic. Gen and so therefore yeah. it kind of makes it where we have a prop, you have to catch somebody, it's, some, it's a family trait. Interesting. And so by being a family trade, it was real rare because my great great grandfather was from Scotland and he migrated over here. And so that's how I went to my family tree to find out how it came back to me. Interesting. So how much will this cost for you to travel to China and have the stem cell? Thirty thousand dollars. Okay. So if people are interested in helping out and giving the fight for sight foundation STL, how do people can people participate and help make this vision possible literally right, right, for right. you? Well, they can um, they can first if they would like I would like to maybe to go take a look at my video. Okay. Because the video kind of tells the story. A lot of people don't know exactly what happened. Great. But the video, we have over 550 views who have viewed the YouTube video at Stem Cell Success okay. 2012. They go to YouTube and go to Stem Cell Success 2012. Okay. It would view the video. Okay. Or you can go to my PayPal account okay. as well at Restore.Vision2012, which would also give you the opportunity to... Uh, maybe send a donation. Great. I have a P.O. Box. Great. A P.O. Box is P.O. Box 140152, St. Louis, Missouri, 63132, and carry the Fight for Sight Foundation, STL. And, and also my phone number 
and yeah. they can call me directly at 314-337-1871 at any time. And I like the fact that before we came on the set, Teron was sharing with me that this is a, a journey for you, but also you're looking to be a resource for other people who yes. are interested to find out more about stem cell. Yes, because okay. it was like a, when I saw it online, I saw the testimonies of people yeah. that were so happy about having the opportunity to get their either their yeah. cancer wow. uh, taken away or their vision back or for, for, for whatever reason. And I know everybody didn't know this. And I was like, I got to share this because it's a great feeling that I got from it. So I know the other people that don't know need to know because it's a joy and a blessing. And it's a joy and a blessing to have you here with us. Thank you so much. And all the great things that you've done in St. Louis, keep up the good work and we look forward to visiting with you after your stem cell treatment. Most definitely. All right, Teron, thanks for joining us. Remember to keep up with STL TV and all the great events going on around St. Louis by friending us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, or subscribe to our YouTube channel. Teron, I wanted to tell you, people can catch you on YouTube on this segment also, but then they can go to our website, stltv.net, and they can see it streaming live right after we're done. Oh, okay. Yeah, spread the word. And I want you to keep it locked right here because we're going to be back with more STL TV Live right after this.